Jeanette Rankin was born in 1880 in Missoula, Montana, on a ranch just outside of the city. She was the oldest of seven children. She went to the University of Montana and got a degree in biology. In her early years, she had been a, a social worker. That's how she began her career. She actually worked in an um, orphanage in Seattle. and she realized public policy was the way to make something change. And that's when she really had the vision that she should run for office to do something on a national level to fix the problems. When she was um, campaigning in Montana to establish the women's right to vote in Montana, she would specifically go to high schools and talk to high school students. Um, and she would ask, she would say to them, I want you to go home tonight and ask your fathers why your mothers can't vote. The students did that, and I'm sure the, the fathers were stuttering and stumbling and couldn't really come up with a good reason because, of course, women got the vote in Montana due to Jeanette's efforts as, uh, as a campaigner. Jeanette Rankin was the first woman elected to Congress in 1916. She took her seat in 1917 and advanced legislation for women to get the vote, the 19th Amendment. And she is the only woman to vote on giving women the vote. In 1916, when only 12 of the 48 states even permitted women to vote, Jeanette Rankin of Montana became the first woman member of the United States Congress. But we felt that if having a woman in Congress would make it very difficult for the men in Congress uh, to vote against woman suffrage. What she was saying is you're, you're not going to have a complete society and you'll never be to your fullest potential if you don't include women. People who are change agents often are alone in their, in their journey in a way, in that, that internal isolation, right? Because in Congress where she's the only woman, in a Congress that was full of these bravado men <laughs> who uh, just didn't see a woman's voice mattering at all. And here she was overcoming all of that to get elected by, by people who saw her. The beauty of it is she didn't give up. It was like, okay, I'm, I'm here, not going anywhere. You all gonna have to deal with it. There's a number of people in the population for whom she's not popular, um, particularly because of her vote against entry into World War I and into World War II. That created a great uproar. And of course, the, they insisted that I was in tears. I had shed all the tears I could shed long before the vote came. So after Jeanette finished her first term in Congress, she was invited by the Georgia Peace Society to come to Georgia and help build the Peace Society there. So she moved to Georgia and she stayed there from 1920 till she passed away in 1973. The foundation started with a bequest from Jeanette Rankin's Georgia homestead. She wanted to help, quote, mature unemployed women workers, unquote. And so the five wonderful women that started this organization thought a, one, a way to do that would be through a scholarship foundation. And we gave our first scholarship in 1976. And the foundation and the scholar grants are carrying on her legacy. Mm -hmm.